Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. This is Madden 18 on EA Sports. What a bitter game this promises to be. These division matchups always call for some extra explosiveness in the passing game. And this is the man they'll be looking to deliver it. It's the Giants going up against the Eagles. Okay, Larry, thank you. We are just off I-95 at the home of the Eagles, Lincoln Financial Field on the south side of Philadelphia. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. And no return here. This one's going inside the 15 to the 12-yard line. Wentz now on first down. And he slides to avoid the hit. They'll get a couple yards on that one. And it's a second down. Throwing his Wentz. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for not on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. On play action, wins. Ertz has it left side. And he's brought down after a good game. A good pick up there at 22. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that. And having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes you're out.
can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. On first and ten, here's Wentz. Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. I don't care who you put on him. He's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to where we can. And he fires one that's intercepted. <laughs> Picked by Darian Thompson. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Jay Ajayi works his way back onto the field. First month of the season, those numbers pretty solid. Does he continue that? I think so, because when you come out of the gate this strong, that means that you have planned for it and you like the results that you're getting. So I wouldn't have any doubt that the head coach, offensive coordinator, actually called in and called him in and said, look, you're our guy, okay? We're going to continue to stick with this as long as we're winning games. You ready for the challenge? And then it is to the rest of the team. I think we'll see plenty of that as this season moves on. And I'm sure he said challenge accepted. Oh, here we go. 81, 81. Here's Ajayi. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. And they got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. again with a giant and he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37 it's an eight yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line they didn't just gash him there they blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through i think if he comes back to the huddle he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble and they've got it here with a first down Toss it to Ajayi. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. So a we'll look here at the key inactives, and we got this list before the game down on the field. And they tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level. That's when you know you've drafted well, scouted free agents well, and stocked your team just the way you're supposed to. He's got his man on the crossing route. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward to get the first down. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 15 yards there on the catch and run. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. He's going to slink. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked by Darian Thompson. And it's a good return here as he'll get all the way up close to the 35.
Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Now wins. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for New York. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, and you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back to Philadelphia after this. In just two minutes' time, don't forget, we'll get you to Orlando for our halftime report. To bring it to you, who else but Larry Ridley? Now that man knows his football. Go get him, Larry. And got his man complete. That goes for a gain of 31. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive the team towards a victory. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. A solid run on first down. Seven leaves him with a second.